Hello friends, good morning, good Friday morning. Welcome to my channel, JB's Crochet. I'm Amber, and today, well, I actually have an update on my cat's meow. I only got three rows done, but I made progress. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna show that first, because I have a really neat story. Well, I don't know if it's really a story, but a really cool announcement and I don't even oh, of course the cat would push her way in here really pause please let me go shut my door again Of course, I forgot to actually hit pause. <laughs> oh well, real life. I think I got it latched this time. I didn't really want her, the door open, and I don't want to wake up kids early, so. <sighs> Cats meow. I'm on the second page. Let's see. This one goes to row 82, which is just over halfway. So once I'm done with this one, I'll be over halfway. Because 60 something is row is about halfway. So once I get about halfway. Once I get about halfway down the the page, I will be halfway. <laughs> But I finally made it onto the second page, y'all. Oh, I'm on the second page. So now I'm on row 39 instead of 36. So, um, where is it? So the first page is all marked out. That's not what you came to see. You didn't come just look at my papers. It's Friday, y'all. I'm awake for the most part. Still wiping the sleep out of my eyes and calming the hair down from the sleep. <laughs> um, cat's me out blanket. You know, this blanket is so much fun. I got like three rows done in like less than an hour last night. I, I was telling you guys, I think I get I can get about four rows done in like an hour, may, maybe more if I, you know, don't stop and do other stuff. But hey, look, it's starting to come out more. Ah, oh, so neat. I can't wait to wash this blanket and feel, oh, it's so cool. Feel the red heart come out. I can't get it to stay up straight, so I'm gonna have to hold it from up here. But yes, I have six strands of yarn coming from my box, and my kids messed with it while we were um, in the camper over the, la over the weekend last weekend, so one of my cakes is like a mess in here, two of them really, but um, I was a little perturbed. I was like, no, don't. I was like, it's going to be fine. I was like, you don't understand. Like, I need these to stay in the order that they're in because then they stay not getting like this, <laughs> like getting all tangled up. So I was like, I need them. I need these to be left alone. Like it's a big deal. So I don't have a big tangled mess. So Okay, so really neat story. I meant to look into this before I got on here. Where is my tablet at? I didn't see it over there. I think my iPad is not in here. Okay. Pause, please. This time, I really want to get my information right. So I'm going to find my iPad and I'll be back. Okay, and I even readjusted my tripod a little bit. I moved you guys up. Um, I'm starting to wonder that I had this sign over here but in order to put it over here i have to move these cakes because they push out too too much to where it won't stay in there now so 
I gotta figure out that. Okay, so let me double check something really fast. Uh, she should be right there. Okay, so Wednesday is when I contacted my friend. And Wednesday afternoon, okay, so Wednesday morning, and Wednesday afternoon. Just recorded my video for it. Okay, so. Okay, sorry, I had to look at my iPad to see if the timing, okay. I don't remember, okay, so let me rewind. Um, back in June, no, July. I remember when we went to Worlds of Fun. No, my daughter went to, to Worlds of Fun in July. We went in June. So in June, we were at Worlds of Fun. And um, my husband, there, there was a friend that was a mutual friend of ours. But back in the day, I was not smart and advertised my my direct sales business a little too much for his this one friend's taste. So he basically... Before the unfollow on Facebook could happen, he basically unfriended me because he didn't want to see it at all. And I completely understand that, but it was a little, a little, a little harsh, but I wasn't a good friend with him anyway. Like he wasn't like, we weren't tight or close. We were just more or less acquaintances through other friends that I was close with. They were, he was the best friend of the husband of the wife of the lady that I was friends with that I met through college. Anyway. Um, but this friend of mine, I am, we were, you know, we, we hung out quite often. We were pretty close friends, me and me, my husband and I, and this other couple, we were really close friends. I mean, we weren't like, the husbands weren't like besties or anything. Um, but I considered her a really good friend to the point of best friend. Like, you know, like, I don't know, like all my friends are best friends, but you know what I mean when I say like your best friends, right? Well, uh, we were at Worlds of Fun, and my husband was just, uh, he was bored, I guess, waiting for for me to come back after a ride or something. I can't remember what, it, what, what the specifics were, but he was literally just sitting there, you know, surfing Facebook and his phone and stuff while he waited. Um, and he goes, so-and-so died. And I went, uh, wait, hold up, what? It didn't register in my head who he had said. And I was like, who? And then he said his name again. I went, holy, you know, what? Like, he's our age. And he's what? And so, for the rest of the day into the next day, I was like on my phone trying to go to other friends' Facebooks and stuff and see if it was true. <laughs> And then my friend had put my, the, the girl, the lady, woman, whatever, she posted about it a day or two later or something. Um, and I, cause I just left her alone. Cause if it was true, I wasn't going to bother her. Um, and yeah, I knew how much it would affect her. Losing her husband at the age that we are, <clears throat> excuse me, he got cancer in the throat and took him out so fast, so fast. They had less than two weeks from finding out about it to him passing away. So, and then Michelle, I've already posted about, I'm well not posted. I've already recorded a video about this. So this is going to be kind of flip flopped, but that's fine. You guys will just hear it more than once. <laughs> like one, the yarn addict likes to say, it's so good. You got to hear it twice, right? Hold on, it's so nice, you gotta hear it twice. There it goes. Yeah, it has to rhyme. So Michelle from Yes Michelle Crochets, and I'm finally telling you, oh my gosh, I told her last night in a text, I said, or a message, I said, I have quite the story to tell you. It gave me chills. And I don't know how it's gonna affect me telling you this, but I'm already kind of emotional about it. 
but she she challenged me well she challenged a, a few of us and I was the one and only that had to know a little more detail. I'm like, well, you're just telling me you're challenging me on something. I don't know. Is it with yarn? Is it with like, I needed just a few more specifics. And then when she said, you know, send yarn and I would be challenged to, to only use it or something. I can't remember what the, what the wordage was. I was like, oh yeah, 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 sure. I'm in. I'll take, I'll take that on my plate too. Why not? So Wednesday more afternoon, she texts me and goes, "Oh, check your window. You got yarn in the. You got. Uh, you might have yarn or so. I don't." So I was like, "Oh, are you saying I need to go check my PO box?" And she's like, "Uh huh," with a little, you know, Jeff thing. <laughs> so I went and I picked up my box. I'm almost positive. Okay, so I'm almost positive that I asked this friend. Yeah, so unbeknownst, un, okay, so I went and got my P.O. Box stuff. I did my recordings. Hours after I did my recording for the, the P.O. Box mystery challenge that Michelle sent me from Yes, Michelle Crochets. I don't know if I said that already. <sighs> I reached out to my friend that lost her husband because I was like, you know what? I want to make something for her. And I said, and I hadn't reached out to her in a long time. So it was a little weird. And I'm actually shocked she got back to me. But I said, hey, you know, I'm sending you a virtual hug because we, I live, she lives in South Carolina and I'm here in Nebraska in the Midwest. So I said, I'm sending you a virtual hug thinking about you. And, you know, by the way, what was, what is your favorite color and Chris's favorite well, whatever, Chris's favorite color, the, 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 the guy that passed away. And what's your mailing address? Well, she got back to me yesterday and wouldn't you know it, she said hers was purple and his was orange. If this is not a God thing, I don't know what is. Y'all, I'm getting, getting teary-eyed. Sorry. <laughs> Michelle. These are the yarns Michelle sent me. I've never been hit in the face so hard with something like this that goes... Whew. Oh, wow. I don't, I'm not going to edit this out, y'all. This is real. And I'm not doing this because I want to put it on YouTube. <laughs> but like, I know, like I look at yarn and go, what do you want to be? Like, I'm looking at this yarn over here going, I don't know what you want to be. <laughs> this is going to be a hug for my friend that lost her husband. I just don't know what I'm going to make yet because... She lives in South Carolina, so these shawls, I don't, I don't think she would wear. Now, if she wore it in her house, it's different, um, you know, because you can turn the AC down and stuff in the house. Oh, wow. My eyes are really watery this morning. Um, and I hate that it took this what happened with her with with my friend and her husband for me to reach out to her <laughs> it it was i'm not joking y'all it was a holy crap moment yesterday when she when i i i was just checking my phone while i was cooking dinner <laughs> and she said purple and orange were her, her and her husband's favorite color Michelle, why did you pick these colors? Because you didn't know. I know. God told you to. I mean, without you realizing it. But, like, whoa. I know this isn't huge, but, like, to me it is. Like, that was... 
Oh, that doesn't tell you something right there. And I'm telling you the truth when I say when I reached out to her, I was seriously like on top of this challenge and everything else I had going on. I said, I want to make something for my friend and send it to her. And I just, I can't get over the fact that uh, that that happened like that. Wow. So I'm going to get off of here <laughs> before I keep going on about it. Because really, um, I'm trying to think, what else did I do yesterday? I watched a movie, y'all. Yesterday, I didn't do a whole lot of crocheting. I got... I got a bean. You know what? I'll show you one more one more thing. I put, you know, and I feel kind of silly put having put these up there as sets to sell, but they're so cute together, and I want to try and sell them as sets. I don't want to sell them on Facebook though because it makes you pick the shipping, like how much you're gonna charge for shipping. I'm like, um, I have no clue, and I don't know how much this weighs. So. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fold all this back up and put it back in here. So, um, I made a hat yesterday with the leftover from the scarf. So here's the scarf stuff. A little infinity scarf. Oops, I didn't twist it the right way. There we go. So here's the infinity scarf. I was able to get a hundred rows. I could have gotten another infinity scarf out of this, but instead of frogging it all back out, I just said, you know what? Instead of being one of those hats that you can fold up, because there ain't enough room for that to happen, really. You might be able to do it like this, fold it up where it like is in the front out of your eyes, but it's not gonna fold up necessarily in the back and cover your keep your ears covered. So and then I got, y'all, a trick to get these to fluff up. Now, it kind of got smushed in the bag. Not to blow on it. Take a hair dryer and it actually fluffs it. Gets it kind of fuzzy. You know, like, staticky. And so it, like, it really fluffs out. It needs it again. But, without having to flip it up, this makes a really cute hat just like this. So you can make beanies without flipping up, without doing the fold-up brims. If you just do a hundred rows and then I put in the bag a couple extra pom-poms as you know to make it a little more enticing like look you can get two more pom-poms with it and change out the pom-poms if you're not you know and they're yes I know I shouldn't necessarily do that and not and and not give more pom-poms away but I was like you know what I, I'm not gonna sell a lot of these and um I don't go through those pom-poms very quickly and they're fairly inexpensive and you know eventually I can use the money for my channel to buy more so it's not like and then um I was like oh wait I made matching scarf and beanie set with this yarn and I, I know it's a little early I so I'll I have them posted on my my community tab for 50 each with the sets with and you get extra ones of these oh, I did drop it okay I have these cards I don't know if I'm gonna put them in there because they don't show the right pom-pom anyway the pom-poms are removable. They're interchangeable with two other ones. So I am going to repost these again, I think, further down the line, closer to the fall and winter, because I oh, have these all in here nice and neat, but I can repack them, repack them later. So... Um... I think I'll re I'll repost them later down the line, and see if they sell. Um, because right now people aren't looking at buying beanies and scarves. So, who um, 
Michelle, I don't know if you knew. Well, obviously, I don't think, yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> I don't know why I even questioned it. I just, every time I look at that now, now I just have to figure out what am I going to do? Because I've only got three of each. I can make a small throw or I can make a shawl, you know, uh, like, like those hugs like this that um, Jax and another friend of hers Creations by Jax. They did these hugs, or she does these. She does do these hugs now for her members. Um, if you pay the one tier of her memberships, you can get a um not a project, but you can get a whip. Not a whip. What am I looking for here? And you can get an item made in your name or for you or something. I can't remember what it is. Um. So I wanted to do something like that, like a hug. I just, I don't know, it's made with red heart. So I'm like, I need to make sure that when I wash it, I make it nice and soft and snuggly. Cause I want it to be, I want her to get it. And you know, well, I can't control what people do, but my hope is that, you know, she can do this with it and feel my hug and it be in her and her husband, late husband's favorite color. <laughs> All right, y'all, before I do um, the emotional thing again, I'm gonna get off here and upload this video while I wait for my morning routine to begin with Fortunate Creations with Kim and Mama Winch and Yes, Michelle Crochets and uh, forgive me, Margaret, but you're, <laughs> It's going to take me a while to remember yours. It's Songbird something. And then a whole bunch of other wonderful people that I hang out with every morning for an hour. Not drinking coffee because I eat breakfast before I have my coffee. But I do have my coffee eventually, y'all. I just don't do it first thing. It just is... I cream the crap out of my... Creamer the crap out of my coffee. So, it's a little sugary. And I want it to be after I've had food. <laughs> so that way it, you know, settles a little better. So, friends, love you. Don't forget, it is a beautiful day. Or it is going to be a beautiful day to be kind and be positive and to make something beautiful. I know I'm going to try. <laughs> and I will see you today at 1 p.m. Central. Of, no, on my channel. I think we're doing my channel. I'm not sure. <laughs> Either watch out on my channel or Mama Wench, aka Marianne's channel, for our live at 1 p.m. for Finish It or Focus On It Fridays. So, hope you have a great weekend, y'all. See you on the next one, friends. Bye.